Stand by for action. Anything can happen in the next half hour. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to my channel. I hope you are all staying safe and staying well. I have an unboxing to do. Oh, yes, I do. This one is, of course, from my favourite manufacturer, FMS. This actually came from China, directly to my house. I purchased it from AliExpress. Right, so without any further delay, I am really, really excited about this one. This is something quite different for me, I believe. Let's get it open. Let's see what's inside. I can only just get it into my recording area. FMS 80mm Futura version 3. It's got a Reflex 2 in it, which is nice. Let's take a look at some of the specs. So the specs on this side of the box. Let's zoom in there and see what we're looking at. Okay, what have we got there? 1060mm wingspan. It's a 2.5 kilogram aircraft, that's pretty heavy. It's got an in-runner brushless 3665 2000 kV motor, 100 amp ESC, 13 grams, not 9, 13 grams metal digital servos. It's got 8 of them. It's got the centre of gravity there, I like it how they do that now. 100 to 105 from the leading edge. Uh, a little bit of play, not much. 80mm 12 blade fan unit. Yes, it takes a 6S, 22.2 volt, 4000 milliampere hour, 35C or more. The other beauty about this is when I purchased it, I told the retailer that I don't like using the EC connectors. So they included that for free. Not much, but it's included. So that's an EC5 to an XT90. Let's take a look inside this box. The thing I like about this is that every time you take it out of a layer of packaging, it gets a little bit smaller. It certainly looks well packed. Let me move that out of the way so we've got some more space and we'll start looking at the parts. So as with all my unboxings, there we have it, the manual. First out of the box. There's some specifications which we've already been through. Part count, look at that part count. Fuselage, wings, tailplane, rudder. Five parts, six parts if you include the wing spar. And it's got eight screws, wow. Instructions, beautiful to follow. Everything's screwing, there's no gluing. Reflex instructions, I've been through those many a time. Multilingual, English, German, French, and Chinese. High low rates, I will stick a lower low rate than their low rate becomes my medium rate, and then I stick a low rate on. Central gravity, not much range, 100 to 105, so you've only got 5 millimetres to play with. I normally try and go for the centre, so what I'll be looking at 102.5. And that's it, then we go to German, French and Chinese at the back. I can almost guarantee you won't need that. So here's the wing. And it's tiny. It really is small. Uh, Tomahawk is like the brand, like Renault, Citroen, BMW. So it's a Tomahawk. And the actual model is a Futura. A very well-known design. Uh, this is the version 3, as I said, and the colour scheme is 
as you see it. Uh, the red, it's hard to tell. The red is paint. The grey is paint. The white is pure foam and the black is decal. The tomahawk here is decal. Flaps, ailerons. And we also have a nice plastic cover. This is red by the way. My camera might make it look orange. I apologise for that. It is a deep red. That's probably better like that. LED light in a lens cover. Very nice. Let's take a look on the bottom. Everything's covered up. So you've got plates here covering your servos. And as it said, they're 13 gram Metal Gear digital servos. Horns, push rods already set up. Ball links again, which is brilliant. Heavy, this is heavy. And I think it's because this is all metal. There's no plastic in here. This is a metal uh, retract system. And looking at this, it's all aluminium. And it's probably sprung in some way, yeah. Easy spin wheel, I don't like this, but what can you do? I'll just put a dob of glue over that. Wing spar going through there, and a wing spar going through there. And you also, of course, get your wing hole for your main spar going in here. Okay, they could have perhaps taped that up, I don't know, it's being a bit picky. But it's looking good, it really is looking good. Let's take a look at this end. So we can see, as I said, where the spar goes in. It doesn't go far in there. I can actually see the end. It goes up to about here. Then we've got these plastic pieces that obviously mount onto the fuselage. And you have some screws to hold it on. And you have a male-female connector. And this is the female part that goes onto the pins on the wing. It's actually angled. It's quite interesting. It's not flat. And I hope that's not a design fault or a fault with this. It's actually angled. But it's quite heavy. There we are. It's quite nice. The wing spar is a great big thick tube. And I'm guessing, can you get white carbon? I don't know, and therefore I'm guessing it's fiberglass. Here's the starboard wing. Again, the Tomahawk branding, LEDs, flaps, ailerons, everything's the same. This is angled as well, the little black female connector. So I would suggest that that is not a design problem or a fault. It's actually how it should be designed. Yeah. Red's paint as well. And it's also got red stickers over particular areas. White stickers where it's needed, a few black stickers, everything else is white foam. Just like the other wing. Yeah, awesome. Uh, real tight cells. Not only are they tight cells, they're extremely smooth cells. And of course, we would not expect anything less from FMS. One piece tailplane with elevators. Servo for each elevator, so there's no rod joining them. Let's take a look at the top. Red is paint, grey is paint. And then it's got a mixture of... Uh, well, the white here is foam, but then the black, red and white decal is in fact a stick-on decal, but they've cut it, 
phone hinges. That's okay. Screw holes, three screws hold this on. As I said, two servos, servo plates, decals. Metal Gear digital servos, horns already set in, and of course, ball link clevis. This is mm, very nice. All right, next up is the rudder. Lovely looking rudder. Red paint, white foam. Covering already wired up, Metal Gear servo, push rod, ball links, horns, already all there. Number 10 is a sticker, as is this black, red, and white. That's all a sticker. Tomahawk is a sticker. Yeah, sorry about that, I had to go and answer the door, got some deliveries. Yeah, decals, black, red, white is one decal. The tomahawk is one decal. Got these plastic mounting areas here and here on the fin. They're hard points where you connect it to the fuselage and you use three screws to screw it all in. Yeah, very nice. Yes, I thought I'd start by laying the fuselage out in front of you. <laughs> I don't know, can I do this justice? Look at the size of that, said the actress to the bishop. I mean, that is awesome. Absolutely fantastic. I don't want to drop it, but I want to make sure you can see it all. Look at that, baby. Right, let's uh, go through it. Paint is grey. The red is paint. The white is foam. The black uh, transfers. This is plastic with white transfers over it. We won't go in there yet. Take a look at the wing mounting points. Well, you can see the hole for the spar. Here's the plastic pieces that the wing goes onto. Brass threads on both. And here, this is the thing that's got me concerned a little bit. This seems flush, where the ones on the wings are definitely angled. Oh, hang on, no. Ah, it's not flush, it's actually angled. So it's got more on the back here than it has on this side. Yes, okay. Get your wings on, screw them on. You don't need to take them off, it'll fit in the car like that. Fantastic. I can't show you, but under here, it's got a nice over two inch front wheel. Strobe light in a plastic dome. This is how you get to your EDF unit if you need to. Bear in mind it is an 80mm, so it's a big hatch. Let's take a look down here. Big, big opening there. Look at that. I can almost, but not quite, get my hand down it. It's got a bit of a beast of a motor. Looks like it's an in-runner, the motor. I might be wrong, but... Yeah, look at that. Uh, connections for your elevator and rudder. They've got the little clips on. And everything just screws in. You see the red there for your elevator. And the fin and rudder. They've got the white pieces there. And they've all got brass on them. Brass threading. Look at that thing. It's awesome. Let's take a look at the inside. Okay, it's got a latch there that looks like a aerial, quite tall, quite big. 
get that off. It's just foam. This is quite good because it's greyed out, so if I do have to cut any holes in here because of the battery, you're not going to see it because of that. And what can I show you in here? Well, first of all, it's got an EC5, which I've got an adapter for to an XT90. There's your Reflex 2. There. Now that has outputs here. And the outputs it's got a throttle, elevator and aileron and your what they call an S-Bus PPM mode that's so you can select off, safe or AS3X type stability and of course your rudder. So they all go through the stabiliser your gear, of course, doesn't, but there's your gear. And your retract, oh, flaps, yeah, flaps do not. Oh, gear do not. So what have we got there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven channels. Wow, well, I've actually got an eight-channel receiver for this. It's got some sort of circuit board down here. I'm not sure what you're supposed to do with that. I'll have to read the instructions. Uh, it looks like all the, the wing gear, the ailerons and the flaps all go into the circuit board and then the circuit board has wires here which all go into the reflex unit and the reflex unit has wires here which go into your receiver. Well, the battery f straps, as you can see, are there, and it has a place for the battery. But what's quite interesting is, why are these here? Does the receiver go back there, or does it come up into the nose? Who knows? We'll have to find that out. But it is quite tidy in there. There's loads of space. The electronic speed controller is actually up here. You're not going to see it because I can't get the angle right, but it's actually down there. You might be able to see it. I'll put an arrow there so you can see it. Yeah. I have to do this. I'm there sorry. Look at that. A Futura by Tomahawk. I'm really, really going to need a new pair of trousers and underpants, I think, when I fly this. <laughs> but joking aside, I've got the batteries for this already. They're 6S 4000s. I think they're 60Cs. Yeah, it's beautiful. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Do leave a comment. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I look forward to you coming and joining me again on another video. Cheers.